Hi everyone, welcome back to Order 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about module structure in Order 16. We already checked that how to add a new functionality in Odo or inherit the existing functionality in Odo by building a module. So in this video, let us check the module structure in Odo 16. For that, let's check our one of our custom module that is School Management. Here in this module, I just created many of the files that we need for this module. So let's check the each files inside this module that about the structure of this module. So first of all, the two basic Python files that needed for a module that are init.py and then manifest.py. First, let's check about the init.py. This is the Python module discriminator file which helps you load the Python files that needed for the module such as controllers, models, report, wizard, etc. And then next is about manifest.py which is the metadata of the module and then manifest.py which helps to show the module inside the Odo app list. And then here we can add the name, name means the human readable name and then a small summary regarding the functionality of the module and then description about the features in the module and then we can add the author of the module and then the website URL of the author and then category inside this category we can add under which under which category is this module belong and then its version its version can be added as 16.0.1.0.0 and the version can be added based upon the semantic versioning rule and then depends inside this depends we can add the other modules which are necessary for the functionality of this module that means for example if we are inheriting the default functionality of hr to add some custom requirements, we need to add the HR module as in the depends of the manifest. Then on the data files, we can add the data files that need to load on this module. Then the demo files and then images and then we can add the parameters such as installable equal to true, application true, auto install false. That's about the manifest file of the module school management. Then let's check about the each structure in this module. First of all controllers, controllers they are the web controllers which helps to access the front end and back end action. It requests from the web browsers which helps you render the return to show it in the website. Then the data files which can be used to create some records with the data. Then the demo files and the demo files which can be loaded in the demonstration mode. For example, if we install the school management module and we added some records inside this demo folder. While we install this module along with the installation, this demo records is al already created. Then I18 and files which helps for internationalization, which helps for the translation of the module. Here we can create .po files. For example, if our user is wor working on Arabic, then he need to switch its user's language as Arabic. On that case, we need to change our fields and then labels to Arabic. So, thus Arabic translation of fields and labels can be added inside the i18 and file. And then about models, models means they are the business objects, which helps to add some new functionality based on the user's requirement in Odo or to inherit some default functionality of Odo. And inside this model using the init.py and school.py, here I created it as school.py and in the school.py I just add, created a new functionality school.student that means created a new model where I can create the student admission records and also some fields. And likewise we can add some new functionality and the new fields that required for our requirement. And then the school.py is loaded in the init.py. Then about report, on each organization the analysis of the growth can be taken by using the report. And in Odo, it's available for both PDF and the XLS reports. And those reports and its functionality and then those templates, paper format and its actions can be created under this report folder. And then security files, which helps to set the access rights for each users on each of business objects that we have created inside our custom module. We have, we need to add some permission for read, update, create and then unlink for a particular users on each, on each business objects. 
So those access rights can be added inside the security ir.model.access.csv files. For example, for the business object that I created, that is school.student, I just added the base.group user in general user as full permission. Also, if we need to ask, restrict the access rights based on particular domain or conditions, those things also can be added inside the security folder. Then test cases, that means if we need to add some test cases based on the functionality of the module, those test cases can be created inside these tests. Then views, views are the object views. The business objects that we created inside this module are visible in the UI using the views that we created in on this file. For example, that school.student business object, I created some menus and then particular action and then form view. In order, it have different basic views such as form, list, campaign, calendar, activity, cohort, etc. And those views can be defined inside the views folder. And then next is about wizard. If we need some pop-up windows, uh, pop windows for our workflow, those, po those uh, pop-up windows can be created inside this wizard folder. And its functionality can be added inside the wizard.py and which can be loaded inside the init.py python file. That's all about the basic module structure in order system.